Greetings and salutations, my fellow gamers. My name is A Far Cry Away, and today we're playing some Rainbow Six Raven Shield. And uh, this is a hospital that we are trying to, well, attempting to liberate from some terrorists. And uh, we had just gotten off of a mission where we were playing on like a modded map. It was Nuketown, but modded into Rainbow Six 3 Raven Shield. And we perfected it, like first try, cleared everyone out, it was easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And so I figured, oh darn, I wasn't recording that one, so I'll record this one. Now this match went a little bit sideways, um, right from the start people were already dying, but as you'll see, it gets pretty good. And it was so good that I just wanted to make it like a standalone video. So I'm going to do some commentary over it. I don't normally do, like, live commentary over the gameplay footage. It's not really my thing. But, uh, I figured I'd change it up today. So as you can see, me and my friend here, I don't really know the guy, but, uh, we're going to be friends from now on, from this point forward in our, uh, counter-terrorism adventures. We're both trying to kind of sneakily open the doors and peek. This is a pretty strange map, and none of the people playing, I don't think, except for one of them, has ever played this map before, myself included, so nobody really knows the layout, and that's kind of what made this mission so much fun, is it was very dynamic. Everybody was kind of using all the training that they've gotten from playing the game and then acquiring it to this new map for the first time, and I, I found that, like, really cool. So here, I'm just trying to make sure, because I was hearing the um, voices of the terrorists and such, that uh, we weren't going to get flanked. I looked away for one second, and my teammate ended up saving my ass there. In this server, by the way, um, the enemy AI is ramped up to veteran, and they are intense. Like, they see you for half a second, and you don't have cover between you and them, and you're dead. It's like a laser beam. So essentially, you need to be ready within 10... Maybe 50 milli yeah, 50 milliseconds to have like a shot being put on these guys most of the time. Now, if they have their backs turned to you, that's a different story. But if they're facing you, it's game over. So you have to be really fast. And what's kind of freaking me out is we're trying to clear all these rooms. And it's this map isn't designed where every door is an openable door. So none of us are really like sure which ones are going to have people behind it. So we're about to peek this one. I think this peeks out into the, like the lobby. Or not this one, but like in a second. So as you can see, there's other teams of uh, players kind of roaming through the map and attempting to clear things. So me and my friend here are trying to, uh, his name is Pothead by the way, great name. <laughs> we're trying to kind of just go back through and make sure that everything is dead. And there is a time when we come back through an area that was presumably cleared already and uh, we had to take out some extra guys there. So it's always good to kind of always be on your toes in Rainbow Six Three in this co-op mode because they will just appear out of nowhere. Especially on this map where there's so many entryways that you have to watch. And here we're taking the uh, upstairs, second floor, and I just pretty much cleared the entire hallway. There's also text chat that like does quick chat kind of like in Counter-Strike where you can say like fire in the hole or whatever or like covering and I was just using those to kind of communicate with my teammates to let them know that I've got his back and everything. Um, something kind of surprising happens up here that I wasn't expecting. And I'm not gonna tell you exactly when. Oh yeah, there it is. So my teammate just went down. Me, of course, I have no idea, because I thought we cleared that hallway. So where is the guy? So I'm going to slice the pie here. And boom, there he is. Hiding behind the, the window area of the hallway. And I never would have checked that if it weren't for my teammate dropping. So, in a way, it was kind of a good thing that he died, because then I didn't die. <laughs> But, uh, it also kind of sucks. But we do have one AI squad mate per person playing, so everyone basically gets a second life. And I believe that's, uh, what's happening with this guy. This is his second character. 
So you basically get two attempts on this server, unless there's a lot of people, in which then you only get yourself. You don't get, like, an AI to control. Now, these are each, like, hospital rooms. And I didn't know how many we'd have to clear, but they're all pretty much the same uh, layout. And I should have noticed it sooner, but since that door was open, of course, there was someone hiding there who had just opened it. And like I said, you can never be too careful, even if your teammate's taking everything out in the hallway. You just want to make sure you do a 360 kind of look around the room or down the hallway. Just in case. And see, he walks right by this door, um, probably thinking that he couldn't open it. But I checked it anyway. And I'm kind of glad I did. <laughs> now, here I'm trying to, like, figure out if I can get, like, a grenade toss in there. But I just don't really want to risk that. So, I'm going to slice the pie again. Good old tactical leaning. Hello. And then I actually shoot him through the door because of the recoil. And that's uh, mission complete right there. Alright, so if you guys want to know... And that's Mr. T. <laughs> so if you guys want to know how to... Uh, play Rainbow Six 3 Raven Shield online. It's not that difficult. There's a Steam group called, hold on one second, allr6.com. So look them up and they have guides on how to set this up. So if you own Raven Shield and uh, I think Athena Sword, I don't know if you need Athena Sword or not, but if you have Rainbow Six 3 Gold Edition on Steam, you go through, install some files, upload them to your game, it's really not that difficult, and they have a, a uh, Discord server as well that you should totally join. And uh, everyone gets on there every weekend, and actually almost every day, and they all play some terrorist hunt, and it's a lot of fun. You should definitely join us. It's a good game, and it's, in my opinion, it's got better co-op than Rainbow Six Siege has. It's just a lot more dynamic, and there's a lot more that you can do to win, and there's a lot more... Um, you know, there's a lot more awareness that you need going into it to uh, to not die. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, leave it a like and subscribe and all that good stuff. I have a Patreon, so if you do like my videos enough, you can, so you can support me on there. And uh, thank you. Peace out, everyone.